I'm Tom Jones. I'm the uh, treaty coordinator. I uh, work in Mille Lacs, and uh, right now we're uh, marking Northern Pike for a population estimate. And the population estimate of the pike is just one more piece in the, in the Mille Lacs puzzle. Um, it helped, and we can use it in a number of different ways. One is to look at uh, um, what is a safe harvest of northern pike, how many pike can we remove from the system. Another is look at what anglers catch and see how many they're actually removing. Um, and then it also helps us to gauge whether our, our gill nets are, are accurately reflecting changes in the population. To do a, a, a study like this, you need to do a marking phase and a recapture phase. So what we did right now today is the marking phase where we set trap nets like these um, in, in a number of places around the lake and in tributaries. Uh, and we catch northern pike, we measure them, we look at their sexes, we uh, mark their fins so we can recognize them later. Then uh, in a month or so, we'll go back out in the lake itself and use uh, gill nets set for short periods of time and recapture a large sample of northern pike. And then looking at the proportion that already have marks, we can estimate then the total population. One of the common concerns we hear is that there's, there's nothing left but large fish in the lake, that we, we have just trophy everything and no, no smaller fish. And uh, what we can see when we do a study like this is we look at all the spawners. And we're finding that there are big spawning pike, but there's also medium and small spawning pike. And basically we have pike of all sizes. We haven't, we haven't done anything to, to, to skew the population to only large fish.